Hey guys, it's Daniel the Medic here. Welcome to the channel. Now today I have a room tour of the executive corner suite at the Vidara. Very posh guys. Check it out. First, the hallway. As you can see, the hallway is extremely clean and posh. Very well done. Okay, now let's go inside. Here we are. So, immediately inside to the left, is the emergency toilet, right? Why call this the emergency toilet? Because you know how like you make, you know, you gotta go and then you make it all the way to the room. You make it all the way up the, up the elevator, all the way, you know, and then you can barely hold on to it any longer and you just bust in the door and God forbid the bathroom is like all the way in the back, right? It's right here, guys. Boom. All right. Over here next to the toilet, we got the uh, mirror over here where I'm gonna say, please subscribe. Subscribe guys. All right. Okay, got some art, right? Your usual towel and soap, the toilet paper, and a garbage can. And you know it's posh when there's no plastic in the garbage can. All right. So you're done using the emergency toilet. Oh wait, what's behind the door here? Nothing. Okay. So you're done using the emergency toilet. And you come out and you're going to see over here a little empty space over here for you to stand and look out the window if you like. Over here you got the uh, controls, right? Either you want housekeeping, you don't want to be disturbed. Here is a light adjustable slider for the, for the intensity of the light. Let's leave it on max, guys. Max it out. All right. Now coming around, I'll tell you now. I have pre-opened everything because in this like luxury suite, there's so many nooks and crannies and I value your time as the viewer. So I pre-opened everything so we can really, you know, get it going on over here. All right, so moving along to the left, we got the kitchen, right? We got the freezer compartment of the full size refrigerator. See, full size, amazing guys. Over here, we got all sorts of empty cabinets with nothing inside. A microwave for your heating pleasure. A stove top. Several drawers with nothing in it. A dishwasher that's kind of small, right? And over here under the sink, we have a food like grinder thingy, food disposal system of which the switch is right here. Scary guys, I don't want to get my hands stuck in there. You know what I mean? I need my hands. I, I need at least this one. This one I really need. All right. Oh, fuse panel, a circuit breaker panel. And then we exit such kitchen to see this wonderful living room area. It is so posh guys. Like. Oh my God, compared to the real I was just at, like, oh my God, where's the stain, guys? Where's all the stains I'm expecting, you know? Wait, is this a stain right here? All right, we got one stain, guys. Much better than the real. Here we have a small little lamp. Now coming around, we have this, a TV I'm estimating to be about 48 inches. All right, so over here, we got the entertainment system with a, Three drawers, right? Some cabinetry over here. And of course, uh, some loose wires. Let's see what the loose wires are for. Oh no, it's, it's probably connected to something that I, I really shouldn't be messing with. All right. Empty, empty, empty. Close, close, and we move on. Oh, a beautiful chair for you to sit in. All right, here's a work surface over here, right? With a little drawer containing some envelopes. You know, notepad, pen, a chair and a lamp. And coming around over here, we got the door to the bedroom. It is a one king bed. I have to admit, it's actually a little bit small in this bedroom, but that's fine. Over here coming around, we have a closet containing 
a couple of robes, you know, extra bedding. Over here is the uh, iron for you. Ironing boards right over here behind the robes. And a couple of slippers down there for you to use. And of course, the hotel safe that nobody actually trusts. All right, we close that. And next to the table, we got a lamp, some sort of a panel for something, which I never use that panel. It only costs you money, whatever you do, you know what I mean? Right? Over here, we got a couple of drawers. Notice a weird uh, S shape that's in reverse. Very strange, guys. Along the wall over here, you got your own reading lamps. Right? And the switch is right over here. Right? Four crispy pillows. Now over here, we got another television of the same size as before, perhaps an inch or two smaller. Another console area over here with uh, nothing, nothing, and nothing. And of course, on the other side, we got some uh, outlets over here, hidden uh, because it's the same color, a notepad. A couple of drawers with nothing in there. All right. And now the bathroom. This is beautiful, guys. A sliding frosted door. All right. We walk in. You got this nice, huge soaking tub, which, of course, you can soak in it and, you know, like just experience the outside. All right. Now, over here, let's test out the water pressure. I am uh, confident that this will fill your tub fast, so don't turn it on and walk away. A couple of towels over here. This huge mirror. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. All right. A couple of sinks over here. All right. This here, a uh, woman's mirror. Whoa. Really big, guys. You can see your pores and everything. All right. We're going to turn this off. And now over here, we got the toilet and another mirror. Hey guys, how you doing? Aha, you thought I'm gonna tell you to subscribe, didn't you? All right. And over here, we got a posh garbage bin with no plastic. That's how you know it's very posh. Toilet, toilet paper, there's two of them. And the best part of it is this vent, guys. It is so powerful, just listen. You can hear it. Yep. It's a very powerful, which is necessary for, you know, because you're going to do your, you know, and then you wouldn't want people outside to be like, dude. All right. Now comes the walk-in shower, guys. You literally walk in this thing. Let's open this up. You got a towel on the outside, floor mat on the inside, some uh, products for you to use, and a pretty big shower head. It got a, a light just for this, and a place for you to sit down if you want to. Let's turn this on. All right. Terrific, guys. Very good. So, that is almost everything about the executive corner suite. But, uh, yeah, oh, yes, the shades are powered. Let me uh, demonstrate that for you as well. Uh, blackout, shade, down. Nice. And it's the same for all the windows, which is pretty darn good. And uh, yeah, this, all, these over, all these windows over here are done with one switch over here. I'll show you. All right. And we go click, 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 and down. There you go. They are all closing like it's the bat cave.
All right. So that being said, it's almost over. I saved the very best for last, guys. Check this out right over here. What is this? A closet, you say? But this is the first time I've stayed anywhere in Las Vegas, perhaps, you know, hundreds of hotel rooms, whichever the case may be. I lost count. And this is the first time I have one of these. What is it, guys? In-room laundry. Oh, my heavens, guys. Oh, my heavens. Well, guess what I'll be doing with this? Uh-huh. Yep, it's time to do the laundry, guys. Uh, yep. Here we go. And voila. Uh, 